It's time to play the game that we named Find the Florida Man with a special guest, a special announcement too. If you missed it, Find the Florida Man is now powered by Smack Apparel, which is pretty cool to say. It's awesome. Jeff is hanging out with us from Smack, and then Jeff, uh, you know, along with playing professional soccer for how many years? Eleven. Eleven years. Wow. Also from Tampa. What high school did you go to? Countryside. So this guy was born and raised. He he, he is Tampa Bay. Uh, Smack Apparel is Tampa Bay, and and what's more Tampa Bay than the Joe shows? Find the Florida man. So this is like just. It, it makes sense. This partnership really does make sense. It was meant to be. It was meant to be. So what we're doing for this first game is the winner is going to get the first ever Find the Florida Man t-shirt. Before you, before me, before Jed, literally. Before Jeff. Before, before Jed. everyone. <laughs> before the design team. Before, <laughs> right. <laughs> these are shirts aren't even really designed yet. Yeah, no. So we're still in production of that, but that's going to finish up soon and... And it will all happen. Um, but how Find the Florida Man works, Jeff, is we read two news headlines. You got to tell me which one happened in Florida. And if you get it right, you move on. If you get it wrong, we move on. We will find someone else, and its last woman or man standing wins the prize. So let's start off in. Let's do. Um, let's do Riverview with Jamie. Jamie, good morning. Hi, good morning. Jamie, you're playing for that first ever Joe Show Smack Apparel Find the Florida Man shirt, but also Ray's tickets and, and even more shirts from Smack Apparel our Ray's shirts. So this is a lot that you can uh, win, but you got to go a perfect four for four with the rounds, okay? Okay. And you know how Find the Florida Man works too, right? Yeah. All right, beautiful. Round one, and, and, and Jeff is playing along as well, so hopefully he helps you and doesn't hurt you on this. Uh, but 72 pounds of pot found in man's luggage at airport. Was that Come at a drugs. was that a Florida airport or or woman suing over male only admission policy at clothing optional gay resort? Which one happened in Florida? Uh, I'm gonna go with the second one. You're going with the gay resort, Jeff. What about you? I would say the gay resort as well. Gay resort. Clothing optional, and a woman's mad that she can't take off her clothes. Gay resort. You think so, too? <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, pays off to go gay, because you just found the floor man. <laughs> Good job, Jamie. We'll move on to round two now. Man pulled over for driving an ATV at 1 a.m. on a roadway, arrested for driving with suspended license and drug possession. Now, Jeff, we always say, when in doubt, drug it out on Find the Florida Man. So... Potentially that happened in Florida. Did that happen in Florida? Or woman steals thousands in Victoria's Secret underwear. Ooh. Sexy time. Yeah. Jamie, what do you think? Uh, I'm going to go with the first one. You're going with the first one, the man on the ATV. What about you, Jeff? I'm going to say ATV because the Victoria's Secret thing can happen pretty much anywhere. That's true. But ATVs, ATVs could happen. That's true. That's true. Definitely going with the Vicky Secrets. Oh, wow. All mm -hmm. right. Well, Jamie, good thing that you went with uh, Jeff's guest oh. and not Ashley's. You found the Florida Man. Let's move on. I just knew it was. Two more rounds, and Jamie, you'll be that first ever winner of the Joe Show's Find the Florida Man, powered by Smack Apparel. All right. Here we go. D do we DoorDash? Do we get our food delivered every once in a while? Yeah. I mean, Jeff, you have to. You got a you whole on family. It's got to be tough to... <laughs> To be slinging shirts and <laughs> taking care and of kids. food. Yeah. What are they going to do? You're going to have your toddler make food? Can't do that. My parents did, and they didn't have a home for two years. All right. DoorDash delivery driver is caught on camera stealing food from the business he was supposed to be delivering to. Did that happen in Florida? Or man arguing with parrot pulled over for erratic driving? Which one happened um... in Florida? The second one. You're going to go with the man arguing with his parrot pulled over for erratic driving. <laughs> Jeff, you're shaking your head. You want to go with that one, too? I think the climate here fits a parrot more than anywhere else. That's true. Go with it, because I saw somebody walking down West Shore with a parrot on his shoulder, so they clearly have him out here. Well, how about if you were in Clearwater, you would have said a guy driving erratically with oh. a parrot. You found the Florida man. Yeah. That was very uh, energetic from there. Good job. Good job from me. I'm going to tap myself on the shoulder with that one. All right, let's move on to the final round. You've made it to the official final round of Find the Florida Man, powered by Smack Apparel. 
Jamie, not only are you going to win a four-pack of tickets to see our Rays take on the Pirates tomorrow night, but also you get to hang out with us because we're going to be in Section 128. It's our Trop Takeover. Now, along with that, too, because wait, there's more, you'll get four T-shirts that were the first ever design, the first ever shirts printed from Smack Apparel. Um, these Joe Show shirts are awesome. And by the way, they don't have Smack Apparel's logo on it because Jeff was afraid they'll get sued. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. No, I think I think it was the right decision from him. The good thing is the Rays do like it, so that's great. Not only will you win those shirts, but also you're going to get the first ever Joe Show Find the Florida Man shirt from Smack Apparel. I mean, my God, Jamie, did it take me 35 hours to list off your prizes? It felt like it. You've got a lot you can win. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Here we go. Last round. Man tries to set home on fire after girlfriend breaks up with him. Unfortunately, his lighter didn't work. Dang. I know. What? I know. <laughs> Dang is what he probably said. I got one for him. There you go. <laughs> Did that happen in Florida? Or man steals roommate's van and rams it into not one, not two, not three, not four, but five vehicles. Which one happened in Florida? Bad roommate or bad relationship? Jamie, have you ever tried to light uh, an ex's house on fire? No, definitely not. Good. Has an ex ever tried to light your house on fire? No, definitely not. Not that you know of, though. Mm -hmm. What if they didn't have a working lighter? Well. Yeah. Um... Let's go with the first one, the we're, house. We're going to lock you in with the man who tries to set his ex's house on fire. Ashley, are I was going to go, go with that, that one. That's so Florida. Are you going to go with that, Jeff? I was going to go with the car because I feel like a Florida man would have would have had success. Okay. Aww. All right. Oh, wow. Okay, Jamie. Now. What I'm would gonna, Joe pick? I'm going to allow you, right? <laughs> I'm going to allow you, Jamie, to change your answer if you would like and go with Jeff's answer. Oh, oh, please do this carefully. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie. Um, do you want to go with if Jeff? If I could see your face, if I could see your face, are you giving me a thumbs up? <laughs> are you, if I could see you? I can't give you any hints. This is a big deal. You're winning a lot of prizes, so <laughs> you get this is this is dependent on you. I mean, producer Jed, what do you think? Okay. I don't want to be Dynamite drop. I Jeff. know. I feel nervous. Can you read the headlines one more time? I one did lose last my time. confidence. I did lose my confidence with that buildup. So now I'm now I'm not as. He confident. does it all the time, right? <laughs> we'll find out next on American Idol. I'm just kidding, Jamie. What's your final answer? 